how's it going, my scrubs? Welcome to episode three of Your Boyfriend. It's it's finally uh, able to stream chapter three. God, I gotta remember what happened last time. But yeah, if you missed last two episodes, check them out. Oh, well, this is new. Who's this? I don't remember this at all. I had to restart from the beginning. But uh, yeah, I'll let you know if I find anything that I haven't seen before. Oh, that's right. I need with Jeff. Yeah, you're still Jeff. That's definitely new. Yeah, that's right. I remember we were able to play some like, game or something, huh? Yeah, there's a few little yeah, new details. I've seen this plush before. It blew up at one point and people swore up and down that it somehow excluded this uh, uh, overwhelming feeling of disdain despite its smile. I don't know what you're talking about. It's probably like merch or something. Oh, look at this. This is a new character if we haven't seen. But yeah, I, I pretty much remember, yeah, this dude. This dude obviously likes us. Yeah, so what I remember is we have a roommate, right? That girl, and he does not like her, obviously, for obvious reasons. He doesn't like anyone that can get in the way of us, right? I just gotta remember exactly what happens at the end. I don't think it was a good thing. I think he, like, appears in the room, and then TK, the one with the green hair, uh, definitely is gonna die. <laughs> I'm, I'm certain of it. Yeah, Lucy hasn't come back. Okay, so here's a little bit of recap here. Well, I guess that's what I've been doing. She's normally uh, home at a reasonable time. Well, no more normal by her standards. Uh, I guess I shouldn't be surprised that she isn't back yet. I'm pretty sure he was like in here, right? Ah, yeah, that's right. <laughs> Who did I bump into? Lucy, is that you? They stay quiet. Okay. Um, yeah, we just get jump scared at the end. We feel a wet cloth covering over our mouth and nose. Okay. All right. I remember now. I'll see you tomorrow, darling. <laughs> He giving me that ASMR. He got. Wait, was there voice acting before? I need to speak to you, about your Warranty or whatever it's called. That meme. Your car's extended warranty. It's free real estate. And just like that, day two. All right, finally we can do day, day three. I needed that little bit of a recap. All right, moving on to day three. Ah! What? I'm back in my room. My head is pounding. What happened last night? <laughs> Okay, I didn't get scared. That's right, I wasn't alone. The one who attacked me, his voice was just like, uh, it's Jeff, why did he do that? TK's right, there's something wrong with him. Yeah, he was warning us about him, right? I need to call Jeff and talk to him about this. Where's my phone? Whoa, who could that be? Uh, if it's Jeff, it's probably best to get out of his way. I just need to be careful. I right, get this out of the way. One part of me hopes that Jeff, then again, another part hope me hopes that it doesn't. I have so many questions, but now I'm too scared to ask them. The question is, why don't we, we remember what happened? Coming! Quickly making my way to, uh, towards the door, I take a deep breath and look through the people. Oh, it's the man in the window, I imagine. Mr. Williams, sorry about that. I thought you were someone else. Paranoid uh, enough not to answer the door, huh? He wanted our roommate to like leave or something, right? Sorry, Mr. Williams doesn't seem to acknowledge the apology as he crosses his arms and continues. I had a word with Lucy about the termination of her contract. Well, both of yours. Uh, she didn't take it well. I can imagine. Oh. Well, they were voice acted in chapter 2, but I guess not this one. Mr. Williams seems a little uneasy as he continues. She, uh, she tried to convince me to at least keep you here, saying she recently got a job somewhere and will pay you back for all the times you covered her. She did? Yeah. Or maybe he need, like, raised our rent or something, right? Anyway, long story short, she'll pay you later today to start packing her things. So I suggest you make it look like you're packing up too. Oh yeah, he was like, he gave us like a deal or something. I feel a sinky feeling in my gut. I was ready to let uh, her go. Yet she's the one who's pleading for Mr. Williams to not kick me out. It's too late now to go back on this. The older man clears his throat as though to get my attention. Anyway, if you need some boxes, I think I got some spare in my office. Uh, I'll take some, I guess. I'm feeling unsure about my decision now. All right, follow me. Holy, he lives like this? Now I think he doesn't have the right to harass us about keeping our place in uh, top shape. Uh, Mr. Williams looks back as he t uh, walks into his place, reading the look on my face. Judge all you want. I'm the one paying for the whole dang building while babysitting everyone inside of it. So, no, my personal crap is not going to be in order. Okay, okay, sorry. I mutter, not expecting... I mean... He should live by example, I'm just saying. Okay, how many do you need? He asks, not looking back at me as he pulls another folded box out. That'll be enough. I don't uh, have very many things to box up anyway. All right then, he mutters, dusting off his hands. Be sure to ask Lucy if she'll need any boxes too. If so, just have her come down to see me. Okay, I will. All right, I don't know. I, I don't know. I think this like, I'm pretty sure it matters what we choose, but I don't know why or how. Okay, I will. He doesn't respond at first. He's not even listening. 
Oh, as though he isn't listening as he picks up the pile of the boxes and hands them to me. He seems out of it now, disassociating even. Hello? What? Yeah, snap it back to reality. Sounds like he's got his own things going on with this dirty apartment, you know? I said I'll be sure to have her come get some boxes. Right. That won't be awkward or anything. Anyway, be sure your friend stops by later tonight so I can get a contract going for him. Oh yeah, that's- Oh, uh, I, I guess I said that he could live here? That's a mistake. That's a big mistake. Why did I agree to that? Oh, this ain't gonna go well. And here we are, looking down at the barrel of a lower than minimum wage, possibly expired food and obnoxious customers. At least I won't be here for too long. I better hurry clock in. TK is alive for now. <laughs> He's not going to be, though. Hey, Scrippa, I texted you earlier. You did? Pulling out my phone from my back pocket, I turned it on and checked my messages. Weird, I'm not seeing anything from you. Well, I did. Anyway, I was trying to tell you that there's no work today. We had a break-in last night. A break-in? Not sure yet. The kitchen is a wreck, though. Uh, you the have a voice now? completely busted in. All the cooking equipment is banged up, and the boss's office is completely ruined. All of a sudden, you have a voice now. All right. Jesus, was anything stolen? I don't know. What the heck was that random voice? Just then, uh, a distart... Distressed holler is heard in the kitchen area. I can't make out what's being said, but suddenly an officer quickly makes his way over here. He looks completely distraught. Oh God, what's in the kitchen? What's going on? He's he's looking as if he's processing what he just saw. Please, we found a body. Oh my God. He finally managed to explain. I need you two to wait outside, okay? Wait, who? Oh, it's gotta be our friend. It's gotta be our friend. A what? Wait outside, please. It's all he mutters. He doesn't seem to have the energy to repeat himself. Everyone's over here. What's going on? There's still silence between TK and me. Even with the cars driving by people walking around and waiting, uh, wailing of sirens in the distance. Everyone's, everything seems so quiet. Now I feel bad for wanting a little more excitement in my life. You and me both. You don't think we're going to be suspects, do you? Best to wait out here. Oh my god. He broke into our house just to put us out and then took our friend. That's what he did. He got two jellers. That's what happened. We don't have security ca There's no security cameras here? The God, that's awful. Oh, there you are. I've been looking everywhere for you. Oh God, he's here. And he has a voice. Uh, oh God, you had me worried sick. Are you all right? What did they say? If they blame this on you, I swear to God, I'll... We need to talk. I say in a firm tone. Talk? He says with confusion. What did I do? Oh, you know what you did. All right, can I have a minute? This is kind of personal. I see the glint of joy in their eyes, assuming there's something wrong between Jeff and me. This is TK's like, finally, I get a chance. Sure, sure, you two go ahead. I'll know if they, they call us in for questioning. You know TK wants a chance for sure. Oh God, we should not be in the uh, alley alone with him. You knocked me out last night. Why? He looks surprised. He's like, I didn't think she would know. Me? I didn't knock you out. I was back at my place after I took you back to work yesterday. I swear on my mom's grave if she was dead. <laughs> sure, uh, that would be nice if she was. What kind of crap is- why would you say that? I'm not an idiot, Jeff. You knocked me out when the whole place went back, and I'm not happy about it. He doesn't lie anymore. Sorry, I didn't want you to freaking out uh, that I was there, so I panicked. You're practically living there now, and you just so happen to carry chloroform with you when you came over? Yes. I've changed my mind. You're you're not moving in. Yes! I do. I, honestly, that's the most logical thing to say. Yeah, let's say that. I want to make him mad. I'm not even looking into his eyes as I storm past him. Wait! I mean, what did, uh, What would you expect, honestly? Let go of me! Oh, I guess he grabbed us. I yelled, trying to pull myself away from him. Don't you get it? I can't. Haven't you been paying attention to what's been going on? Can't you pick up the slightest of hints that I'm meant to be with you? What are you talking about? Jeff's grip on, the, on me tightens as he gazes upon me anticip- anticip- Intensifies. <laughs> Scorpi, I love you, but you're not very bright. You know, I really shouldn't have named this as the character I always pick in my games. This should have been like a girl's name. <laughs> it's like he's speaking to me and I don't like it. I love you, but you're not very bright. Excuse freaking me? Think about it. The moment we met at the park. Those times I saw you in the diner. How you would always leave your window closed no matter how many times I've opened it at night. Your perfectly sized closet. Oh my god, you were stalking me? You blame me? You're the one who's always on my mind. The one who makes my heart beat out of my chest each time I see you and smell you. Bro, he's weird. You want the truth? The truth is I'm mad. Mad to the point where I caress your skin while you sleep soundly each night. Okay, let's just say he's getting into too much details. Bro needs to chill. What? 
<laughs> you asked and I'm answering. I'm opening my heart to you, being forward, honest. Trust matters in a relationship and I'm tired of keeping things from you. Jeff steps closer. Uh, his hands resting on the wall behind me. Oh, he's doing that. <laughs> it don't look like that, but... <laughs> I love you. I loved you the moment I saw you at the diner. Okay, bro, this this dude is way over Barry. He, he's saying some crazy stuff. So I had to follow you instead, studying your patterns, memorizing your schedule, practice what you say when you were finally alone and not working. The park was perfect to finally approach you. Bro, he had his plan this all along? I mean, I can't say I'm surprised, you know? I mean, look at him. He cups my cheeks in his hands. <laughs> You're upset with me now for the last night, sure. But you and I can make this work now. No more hiding, no more secrets, just us. Dude, he's sticking his tongue out? God, I could cook you really nice food for you right now. What? Ew! Get out of here! Stranger danger! You're insane! Run for it! Let's run! I've heard enough. Quick, I duck under his arm and try to sprint out. Maybe I'll catch some attention and he'll leave me alone. Suddenly, I feel a tight grip around my neck. I can't scream out for help as I feel him yank me back into the alley. Just then... Oh, God. This ain't good. It's really taking a turn for the worse now. It's time to go home, darling. Oh, my God. What is about to happen? But that's the end of the day? Oh, we missed something. We missed something. I gotta, I gotta see if there's any other part. That's that was short. Maybe what we need to do is tell, uh, try to go to Lucy to get the boxes, and maybe that's how we find her. Cause I'm certain that she did not make it. Oh, okay. All right. So we sort of comply with him. You know, instead of like running, we just complied. So uh, look, well, we'll talk about this later tonight. Okay. Uh, set some ground rules or something so you don't need to break into my apartment. You know. Okay, I knew you would understand my love. Okay, so maybe we can get a little bit further and see what happens. Well, I'd better head back over to TK. They're waiting for us. Jeff finally pulls away after placing one last kiss. <laughs> Go on ahead. I'll be at your place for a while until you get back. I can't wait to have that little talk with you. Bro, I'm gonna slap you. Dear God, what have I gotten myself into? Seriously, you should have known. You should have known one glance was all it took. Thank God you're back! They say with a sigh of relief, but that relief has gone the moment they look uh, on my face. Wait, what happened? Jeff is a freaking animal. Uh, I don't hesitate to announce as I rub my neck. Just imagining the things he confessed to me seems to wake a darker part of myself that I didn't know I had. Is there something wrong with me? I can tell about the hickey bear. No shame in either of you, huh? A hickey? Oh, uh, he must have snuck one in. I don't know what you're talking about. Please, I don't want to hear it. You know, TK is angry. It's fine. You two are really moving along, huh? Oh, you have no idea. I just hope it's not someone we know. It, it is. It is. 1,000%. I doubt it. I only know two other people besides you and Jeff, and they're both back. Oh. Oh, God. It's Lucy. <laughs> Lucy didn't come home last night. I told you. I knew it. You don't think. I don't answer as I speed past TK and charge it to the diner. Pushing aside the still rattled officer, I, I make my way into the kitchen area. Oh, my God. Please, no. No. I feel some pulling me away from the scene, verbally demanding I keep my distance. No, it's my roommate. That's Lucy. I was going to kick her out, but uh, I care about her. I'm dragged back into the diner. TK coming to my side, attempting to calm me down. Uh, my outburst causes a scene. There's more questions than uh, intended after identifying the body. I do my best to give as much information as I can. I don't know anyone who might have done this to her. What do you mean? Bro, they got to put a billboard up in the city saying this guy's creepy? Come on. You have no idea. How about the guy sticking his tongue out in the alley? Thanks for walking me home, TK. Enjoy being alive while you still can. It's no problem. We're off for a while, so I'll be checking up on, on you tomorrow morning if that's all right. I'd love that, actually. I, I kind of want to just, like, go uh, lean more into the TK route just because I know that he'll, <laughs> he'll die. I'm trying to take out everyone in this game. TK steps closer and hugs me. They, uh, they are embraced tight as the, they nuzzle me against my cheek. If you need anything, I'll be a phone call away, all right? I can't help but hug them back. TK has always been so sweet and supportive despite how many times I've ignored their feelings for me. I need to ma make it up to them sometime. Well, I've been saying he. I actually don't even know. They, they keep saying they, so I really don't know. TK finally pulls away and pats my shoulder. I'll see you tomorrow morning. Try and get some sleep. With that, they take their leaves, hands shoved in their pockets and head hanging low. Jeff is sitting on the sofa as though they've been waiting for me the whole time. The moment he sees me... Oh, I don't even want to know. I don't even want to know. I just want to punch him. There you are. Dear God, that took forever. I was getting worried. I mean, we know what he did, right? Sorry about that. A lot goes in these investigations, I guess. So we walked over to the counter to get some coffee. You know, she always saved me some if I didn't have any that morning. Aww. 
There was coffee waiting from that Lucy made. I know. Please open up. <laughs> Finally, come in. Oh, the landlord just barges in. Hey, kiddo. I heard what happened. The landlord says, getting straight to the point. I just wanted to come by and check up on you. To be honest, I'm not doing great, but I'll still uh, do those tasks you gave me this morning. No excuses. No, you won't. Life's a real mess right now. Even my boy is rattled by it. It's his first murder case after all, uh, so he told me everything. Oh, I guess he's friends with the police dude? I like the landlord. He seems like a nice dude. Your son is in office? Oh, it's his son. Okay. Guess I missed that. He and his boys were uh, here earlier to see if they could find anything. Her room was full of nothing but job applications, some uh, things, and various knickknacks. Nothing else hinting to why uh, why it happened to her. So it's a cold case, Jeff asked, stepping close to my side. Uh, I wasn't freaking talking to you, and no, not yet. They're going to keep digging around, hopefully, and catch the prank too before I do and uh, snap their spine. I like, he's very, he has an attitude towards him, and he deserves it, but that's not good. Don't kill my favorite character, the landlord dude. Bold words from someone who tried to kick her out yesterday. Oh my god, the the shade. Listen here, you little grub. I might have wanted to kick her out, but I didn't want her to get cut up like a Christmas ham and shoved in a freezer for later. No one in their youth deserves that. Well, maybe you should have given her a job instead of scrub pie. Then she might uh, still be alive. Dang, man. You have no rights. I mean, yeah, come on. Like, she didn't pay her bills, but that don't mean freaking you, you want to keep her in there. You know, if she ain't paying her bills. Say that again. I dare you. Both of you, stop. I'm not in the mood. Both Jeff and uh, Don st uh, do stop giving one last glare at each other. You're on your own again and you can't keep this up. A third job just isn't in the cards because I don't want you overworking yourself to stay. Do you know anyone willing to help you out with this? It ain't Jeff. Oh, <laughs> this is going to make him so angry. Oh, we have a timer. Oh, well, TK needs an upgrade. I understand they live on the uh, south end of town. That crap hole? Jesus, I can't imagine so. Uh, well, if they're up for it, have them call me tomorrow and we'll get something arranged, okay? I'm not, uh, if I'm not too busy with that is. I will. Thanks, Don. The man doesn't say anything as he takes his leave, gently closing the door behind him. I refuse to make this dude happy. Man, who's spitting his fiber mule? Uh, could this day get any worse? Lucy and I were supposed to have a night in, actually. Hang out for the first time since we've been roommates. Now I can't. Jeff come, uh, comes over and sits down, wrapping one arm around my shoulder and tugging me close against him. This place is making you depressed, darling. Why not stay with me tonight to help you get your mind off things? I suppose so. Are you stupid? Tr darling, trust me. The moment you see it, you won't want to leave. And if you try, I'll just tie you down. He means it. Are you joking? You want to find out? Uh, sure. <laughs> <laughs> this is a bad idea. I don't want to see his place. He probably lives in the sewer. Oh my god, he lives in a white van. <laughs> Imagine. Yeah, all it needs is a free candy sign. Uh, seriously. So many red flags, yet you're stupid. He drives a white van. <laughs> Buckle up, it's gonna be a long ride. How far? About three hours? He drives three hours to get to me. That's how you know he's a freak. I live rather far away from here, just as I like it. But oh, so far from you. That's okay. The gas money is worth seeing you every day. This wacko drives three hours a day. Probably, I mean, at least once a day just to see us. Jump out of the van. Can I save the game? I, I, I want to leave. I guess let's go to his place. I want to leave, but I'm sure that won't work out. Oh my god, he keeps the knife in the glove box? He didn't think anyone- Oh, well, it's it's, it's done so for us. Jeff doesn't respond, reaching over and closes the glove box, uh, box up. An unimportant item related to an unimportant event involving an unimportant uh, girl who I wouldn't dwell on it. Unimportant? What do you mean? Uh, wait, was it you? You barely realized? Did you kill Lucy? I told you not to dwell on it. <laughs> Look at this face. <laughs> and it's over. Okay, I'm glad we decided to come back because that Go was a ahead pretty and short. Sleep for the rest of the trip. We'll be home soon. And I'm pretty sure that's the end of day three. All right, that was much more um, um, fulfilling as a day. Well, there you have it. I have no idea when we'll get to play day four, but I actually really want to know what's going to happen. All I know is I still don't trust Jeff and I never will. Watch, it turns out he's the best character. He's like all actually good. It was all a misunderstanding. <laughs> all right, guys, smash like if you enjoyed and I'll see you scrubs in the next one. Bye, y'all.